Hello guys, what's up? All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to actually um, work on TikTok when it comes to building a content and also figuring out like what is the best bet for you to actually test multiple products for your e-commerce store or building your brand or scaling your brand, all of the above. I'm gonna show you like a very simple way of doing that and I'm gonna show you dog toys example in this video. Um, the, the reason I'm using dog toys is like very simple and easy to understand. Everybody has dogs, most people do, or some people have cats, but regardless of the product line, it's the same exact process for any products you sell for your e-commerce brand. If you don't know me, my name is Daniel. I'm a part of Infobridge.io. I work with companies that are worth a, a couple billion dollars. I work with companies that are worth a couple hundred million dollars. Companies that started with nothing a couple of years ago and now they're worth a couple hundred million. So pretty good. And it's the same exact process that we use for them when it comes to like researching the product and actually building, you know, the case study around out of like how we can actually promote their product line. So dog toys, let's talk about dog toys. And I'm going to show you an example of like when it comes to like product line you have to figure out like what works on tiktok and it's very different to compare to what works on tiktok and what works on instagram and what works on facebook it's very very different you can promote the same type of videos and you will have like a very different engagement on tiktok compared to like instagram or like facebook sometimes all videos or like same type of videos work really really good on all platforms together now let me actually show you like the the example of example side of things. First thing first, you have to le uh, search for the product or your competitor or like whatever product line you're selling. If you have multiple product lines, if you have like a couple thousand SKUs, you can do the same process. Now let me actually show you this video, and it says my dog's favorite toy is that dog uh, this door stopper. You play the video. And then she actually, he actually created like a dog stopper tool, you know, for the dog where he's just like super excited. Now you will see like a lot of people are like giving like good comments, but this is not an actual store trying to promote its product. It's a good idea, but it's not an actual store promoting its product. Now, if I scroll all the way up and if I just go ahead and pick any of these toys, I, I'll just pick this one. This is the best gift for your dog, okay? And this is a, it's a dog toy. And of course, like it's a, it's an actual product that dogs are like super interested to play with. And you will see like a lot of people are asking where to buy, where to buy this, what's the name of the toy, where to buy, where can I get it, where can I get this? So you will see like, I need that. The, you will see like hundreds and hundreds of comments of people asking about the product. So first thing is like you figuring out as a as a brand owner or like a personal brand owner you ha you're figuring out like okay what is the best engaged toys uh for uh you know i'm just like making this up because just consider for a second you sell dog toys you have to figure out like okay where can i get like to find the videos where uh, I have like I see like the most engagement for the toys and people are asking where to actually purchase the toy that's the first thing now the second thing is the industry itself so if I switch a category and if I go on let's say eyeshadow okay now it's it's a it's a beauty brand and I, I work in the beauty industry and I work with a lot of beauty brands so I'm very familiar with it so let's say, for example, you own a beauty brand and then you want to see just your competitors of like what they're doing and what type of engaging content they are creating for themselves to actually promote their products. Now, if I talk about like any of these videos, if I just click on this video, you can actually see like this is like a really good um, uh, shimmer shadow. So if I just go ahead and talk here, you can actually see it's like, it looks really good. So it's a pretty good like when it comes to party wear. Now, if you see here, people are talking about like, you know, it looks good. The color looks good. It looks great. You know, stuff like that. If I come all the way up here and if I just open this video, it's the same thing type of engagement when it comes to like the product itself. And she's actually showing like what products she's using. 
So when it comes to like building engagement, finding, you know, trending comments uh, or like trending topics around your specific customer avatar, this is one of one of the ways that you can actually figure out like, OK, these are like the high recommended videos on top of TikTok. But I see a lot of people commenting about like purchasing the product or they're looking for where they purchase the product from. And that makes a huge difference is it's the same exact brand that this girl is using on herself as well. And people are just commenting about like, hey, this it looks good or this is sold out. Where can I purchase that? All that together. So this is it for this video, guys. Hope you like it. My name is Daniel. I'm a part of Infobridge.io. If you need any help on scaling your personal brand or your e-commerce brand and you want to uh, build an acquisition channel, be sure to click the link in the description. Schedule a call with me. I would be happy to help. All right. Thanks. Bye.